All right, so today, well, that was really positive. That was almost too positive. Uh, so today, that's more like it. Uh, today, we are going to uh, be talking about uh, how to do calculations involving frequency and energy. So the new thing that you learned about today is energy. And energy is, it's just, it's just you know, the energy of a wave. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be written with an E. That, that just represents energy. Usually going to be written as energy of specifically E of a photon, which we talked about is the little particle of light. So remember there's the, you know, these waves, we have this wave particle duality where like light, electromagnetic radiation, light is, it's a wave, but it's also a particle. And, you know, it's made up of particles and the particles are called photons and the photons have energy and can be measured. So that's where the E comes from to sort of review from this, the, the notes. Uh, and remember, our unit for energy is going to be joules. All right, we represent joules with a J. Pretty simple. So energy, the unit for it is joules. Now, the equation that we're going to be focusing on here that relates energy to frequency, it looks like this. E is equal to HV. Remember that V is frequency. E is energy. H, though. H, so again, we talked about it before, but, you know, H, you see it in the slides and all that, but H is, uh, it's another thing. It's like another constant, all right? So H, it's called Planck's constant. All right, so it is called Planck's constant. Why did the thing just become unfocused? Focus. All right, there we go. So Planck's constant, H. So H is always 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds. It's quite a special number in that it's honestly probably the smallest quantity, the smallest numerical thing that you will ever see in your life. There's no reason for you to ever deal with anything remotely this small ever again. I mean, it's just that it. it's really small. But just know that's what H is. So anytime you see H, it's just this thing. You're just going to put this into H. All right. Just like you're going to plug it in like anything else. You're just going to plug it in and do it. All right. So we have energy, frequency, Planck's constant. Let's solve some problems. Okay. It would be helpful if there was a problem there, wouldn't it? So example three. This is So this is, again, directly out of your notes. Um, you should be able to find this pretty easily. It's right there. You should find it. You should do it. All right. So, again, there's a lot of stuff in here. It doesn't matter. Most of this problem is like doesn't matter to you in any way, shape, or form. I mean, sure, it's good to use like sunscreen and stuff, but really, we just care about, we just, so this whole first sentence is a whole lot of we don't care about for solving. Then it says, how much energy? That is important. How much energy? So this question is asking us, how much energy? All right, so we want to know how, what is E? We're looking for E. Um, it says it's possessed by a single photon of UVA electromagnetic radiation. So it's like, yeah, that's cool, but it, it doesn't do anything for the problem. So in the end, all this boils down to is how much energy if you have a frequency of this. All right, that's it. And remember, s to the negative first, this is the same thing as 1 over s. And I'm going to write it as 1 over s always, like for, for when I do examples and stuff like that. I've always found that just makes stuff much better for students. It just seems like it's a much better um, way to go about doing things. So, yeah. It seems dark. I wish it was a little brighter. I think it would be able to do that better. No. So anyway, uh, you're just going to, so now your formula, remember, is E is equal to HV. So you're solving for E. You know V, and you know H is always a constant. Remember, H is always uh, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds. Cool. So you'll uh, plug them in, you'll multiply them, and you'll do it. This is, this is normal. This, 
you know, recording videos used to be a lot more fun when there was like students to yell out stupid things and I could be like, hey, shut up, do your work. They're like my camera. Now I just, I just like a chair over there. There's like a computer monitor right here. Maybe I could like turn this computer monitor and just click so there's like a computer monitor over there. That's my working plan. Computer monitor. I could like put a face on a computer monitor. Like I'm uh, Tom, Tom Hanks and Castaway, that movie where the dude's on an island with a volleyball. And I could like put a face of like a ball or something on there and talk to it and be like, hey, and, like, what could we call it? Call Steve. All right, let me call him uh, Steve or uh, Walter. We'll call him Walter. All right. I'll be like, what's up, Walter? How you doing? And there'll be like a face on a monitor. And then Walter could provide commentary on the videos to make it more enjoyable than just learning about frequency and uh, wavelength. And those of you watching on YouTube, you're like, what is he babbling about? Yeah. Anyway, I've been doing this a lot lately. So back to this. Uh, now, we are going to be doing these calculations. So you've got your, you're trying to solve for energy, you know, your H, it's that number, it's Planck's constant, you know, your frequency. Just plug them in, you multiply them together, that's it. It's really simple. Just because they look complicated or whatever, it's not. Again, always include your units when you do this, otherwise you're basically saying, like, I want to fail, which we don't want that. So include your units, because... It's just important. So I wrote it as S to the negative first because I was just writing this in one more thinking. If you want, you could rewrite that as 1 over S, and that will allow you to cancel out. Like the seconds, they cancel out because it's S times 1 over S. They're going to cancel out, or S to the times S to the negative first. They're gone. And you're just left with joules, which is good because for energy, that's what you want. So the batteries in this calculator are going to die like any second. It's very, very exciting. If you want, you can also program H into your calculator so that it is always uh, right there. I would encourage you to do that just like I showed you on the previous video. So, you know, 6.66 times 10 to the negative 34. You hit the little STO button on the bottom of your calculator. STO right there. And then just, you know. H. Cool. So now you, for any, anytime you want, you can just multiply stuff by H. So, so you'll type this in, and you're just going to multiply it by 9.231 times 10 to the 14. Since you are multiplying, uh, parentheses are not essential, though it's a good, good habit to get into to just put this quantity in parentheses always um, so that there's, like, no chance of error. Because when you're dividing, if you don't do it again, you will get it wrong. So you'll do this. You're going to see that your energy is... So we'll say 6.11. We'll say we can round it up to 6.12. Remember that this E, negative 19, this is just times 10 to the negative 19. Then your units are joules. Simple as that. So, cool. And then look, it matches the answer. Congratulations, you didn't fail. All right. Next example. Examples like it's uh, like it's my job or something. So next, wow! Look at all these words. Look at all these words. You're gonna look at all these and you're gonna be like, oh my god, there's so many words. But it's like it doesn't matter. All right. It just says, what is the energy? Well, this isn't even having to solve for uh, for frequency. I've had to solve for frequency. And the next examples we will. So it says, what is the energy? And you got a frequency of this. The rest of it doesn't matter. Every object gets its color by reflecting a certain portion of incident light. I mean, sure, that's true, and that's useful in the wavelength of the photons determine their color and their energy and everything, and, you know, whatever. But this video is not about that. This video is about solving these problems. And all you need to know, you're saying, what is energy? Uh, when I know that my frequency is that. So, our equation stays the same. E is equal to Planck's constant times frequency. Remember, H is... 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds. You will always be given that number, always. Uh, like, this is not something you would ever memorize. There's no memorization. I'll give you the formulas. Oops, here. Uh, I'll give you the formulas. I'll give you everything. You just got to know how to do it. All right. If, any, if you ever have a chemistry teacher that tells you they're not going to give you that stuff, you, you yell at them, and you'd be like, no, that's not right. You give me the formulas. You give me the, the constants. You're just telling me I got to use them. 
because that's how it should be. All right. So you can have them email me or something, and I'll be like, dude, me and my 2.5 thousand, my 200, my 2,500 followers or whatever it's called on YouTube uh, disagree with you. So you should like give kids that. And, and you should. And don't don't think you'll ever have to memorize anything. It's not about memorization. It's about using. So now you're just going to plug your stuff in again. So you're, you know, so E will be equal to uh, 6.626. Do not just write H. Some kids want to just write H to abbreviate it and shorten it. And no, don't do that. Write the number out. If I can do it on this video, you can do it on your work. I'm going to write it as 1 over s this time because I remembered uh, s to the negative first. It's just 1 over s. It's the same thing. So then you're going to do the math again. And you'll just do And you get that. That's your energy. The, the, energy, the, the energies of a photon, they're always going to be really small numbers. Like you're not going to get some huge energy for a single photon of light. Just you're not. You'll have joules because your seconds will cancel out. And there you go. There's your answer. So that's the basics for calculating energy if you're given a frequency uh, for any for any photon light.